In this video, we are going to talk about working with grid and property sheets in ICM basic tutorial. Um, ICM can view the grid view version of your network. Um, so to do that, we're going to open one of the network. Um, I will be using this Langley network TUT as an example. After you open this network, you can access the grid view of this network by going to the window menu and then click grid windows and then you can see there is a list of windows here. Another way to access grid view window is to click on this grid windows icon and then you will, you will see the same list of the grid view windows here. Um, so now let's go to examine grid data section. The first step is to open an, a grid window. Um, so like I said before, you can go to windows, uh, grid windows, and then I will use new links window as an example here. As you can see, after you open the grid view window, you can use the scroller uh, to scroll vertically here, and then you can also scroll horizontally. Um, and if you are opening the new links window, you will have um, different tabs to choose from on the bottom. So you can choose uh, conduit, uh, shape, head loss curve, flat valve, flume, orifice, pump, and so on. Okay, so to um, close a grid view window, you can either click on this um, cross button or you can um, right click on the tab name and then choose close tab to close this grid view window. Next, we're gonna talk about how to um, uh, uh, manipulate your grid view window. The first is to freeze the columns. Um, you can open a grid, grid window here and then to freeze a column, you can click on one of the column headers and then right click on the headers and then click on freeze columns. Now this column will be freezed. As you can see, when you scroll your um, scroller, this column uh, will always be here. Um, you can right click on this column and then unfreeze all columns to unfreeze it. Next, we're going to talk about how to reordering the columns. We can change the columns, uh, we can change the order of columns by clicking on one of the uh, column header to select it and then drag this um, column to a different location, like, like here. And then you can also click on anywhere on the grid so that the column will, will be unselected. You can sort the notes um, accord, according to ground levels by right click on the ground level column and then uh, choose sort ascending. Uh, we're going to find the ground uh, level first. It's here. And then we can right click on the ground level and then click on sort, uh, uh, sort on selected columns ascending. And then you can see um, this uh, note list will be sorted based on the uh, ground level. Um, and then we can also um, sort the um, nodes by ground level and then east-west position, which is the X um, uh, column here. Uh, to do that, we can uh, click on the X column first and then hold your control key and then uh, click on the ground level and then right click on the headers select sort on selected columns ascending. As you can see, you will um, sort the uh, X here and then sort, sort the ground level here. And then uh, we can also make a selection um, to select a different nodes on the uh, grid view. So you can click on one of the nodes and then hold your control key to uh, select a bunch of different uh, nodes. Uh, 
and then um, you can go back to this uh, grid view window and then click on this group selection uh, icon and then you can see all of the selected nodes will be grouped on the top. And now we can close, close this, the, the um, grid view window by clicking on this cross button. Next, we're gonna talk about how to find columns. You can um, open a new node window and then right click on any columns and then select find columns. And then you can choose dif uh, a different columns to go to. And then, um, for example, I will choose flood area one and then click OK. Now we're, uh, I see and we'll go to this column automatically. Now we're going to talk about find in geo plan. Uh, we can first um, go to our network and then click on this uh, clear selection icon to clear all selection and then right click on a blank space on your geo plan and then select zoom to network and then we can uh, select window grid window and the new links window to open a, a new links uh, grid view um, and then we can select a weird tab And then we can um, adjust the size of position of the geo plan and the grid view to uh, to see both of the window. So you can uh, double click on the tab to um, uh, to adjust your um, size. And then we can select a view a wear on the grid view window. And then this wear will be highlighted in the geo plan as well. And then we can select all of the wears in this uh, wear tab. You can either drag your mouse or you can click on the first one and then hold the shift key and then click on the, la the last one. And then we can right click on the geo plan and then select zoom to selection. And then you can view the um, uh, all of the uh, wheels here. And now we can click on this um, right cross button to close the grid view. Next, we are going to talk about how to apply different rainfall profiles to groups of subcatchments. First, um, I want to maximize this uh, network. And then I, I can click on this clear selection icon to clear the selection. And then I can right click on the geo plan and then choose um, zoom to network to display uh, the whole network. And then I can open a new subcatchment grid window. And then we can find the rainfall uh, profile column by right click on this uh, column header and then choose find column and then choose uh, rainfall profile. And then I can move the rainfall profile column so that is next to the X columns. I can write, I can choose rainfall profile and then drag it all the way to the left. And then I can adjust the width of the columns to uh, make it more visible.
and then I can sort the grid uh, according to the value in the X column. And then I can select all of the rainfall profiles for the first seven row and right click on the selection and then choose uh, current cells value, set new values for cells. And then I can enter one and then click OK. And then I can also assign the flex for the um, for the change, change the rainfall profile, um, we can right click on the column and then select flex and then uh, select ED flag. Uh, we don't have an ED flag here, so we're gonna um, create the flag first. We can go to files, um, master database settings and then user defined flags and then give it an ED. And then we can do the we can set the flag by right click on the selected cells and then choose flags and then choose ED. And then we, we can resort the grid on the subcatchment ID column. And then you can see that um, the, um, the column on uh, the subcatchment is sorted based on the subcatchment ID again. And then we can close this uh, subcatchment um, grid view. Now we're going to talk about how to exporting grid data. First, we're going to open a node grid. And then we can drag the X and Y columns so that it's next to the node ID column. And then we can select the three columns and then press Ctrl C to copy the data. And then it will ask you if you want to copy the column headers, we're gonna select yes. And then we can open an Excel file. And then we can um, paste the, um, the data we just copied to an Excel file like this. And now we can close the uh, Excel file. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about how uh, the property sheets. Property sheets provide a way of looking at all the data for single network object in a structured way. So um, they, they are usually displayed in the object uh, property windows like it's showing here. Uh, to view the um, property sheet for a specific network object, we can use the uh, property tools here and then single click on one of the object to view the um, object properties. And you can also cl uh, click on the select tool and then double click on the object to view the uh, object uh, property sheets. You can also see the um, property sheets from the grid window as well. So if you go to um, a grid view window and then you can double click on one of the object, um, you can also view the property sheets for this specific model objects. So that concludes the video.